Hello! It is April! Whoa! Where in the world did time go? I have no idea. So, I wanted to share with you my March favorites. I feel like I don't have a whole lot, but we'll see. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, first things that I'll start off with are my um, food favorites. Why not, right? So, one of my food favorites lately have been bananas. Um, I've been having, at some points I get sugar cravings or uh, cravings for dessert, and so why bananas is one of my favorite is I feel like it's a really good, like I said, I like things that are really great bases. So we like bananas, we like to go to the store and get the, um, at our market, they sell the ones that are starting to turn uh, yellow and kind of brown spots. They sell those for a discount. So we buy those, then so we bring them home and we cut them either in half for me, which I can use a half like my Shakeology smoothies, um, or we cut them into little pieces for my son and we can make a banana ice cream for him, which I have a recipe for that on the website. And then also, I like the really these bananas that are, um, I like to buy them more green uh, so that after time they can stay yellow and we have them for a long time, but as they're uh, fresh, I like to make my fried bananas and that has been like my go-to dessert. It's so filling, um, it tastes amazing, and it fits within my plan. So I love that. So bananas in general and the reason why we use them have been a favorite this last month for March. And then also my fried bananas for myself. Uh, those are on the website. And then the banana ice cream for my son. So bananas. You should get some, right? And I love, like, having them on hand is such a great idea to keep them frozen. So my next thing is my seasoning. I found the... Miss Dash Southwest, whoa, Southwest Chipotle seasoning. Um, it is salt free. It fits within my plan. I love the Miss Dash. There are so many different flavor options, like I've told you before. Uh, when you're eating fish and chicken, um, you feel like it might get really boring, but if you have different seasoning, it totally switches it up. This is a really great one. Um, we like we love Mexican food and the spiciness. Uh, it's mild spicy. My son will eat it. Uh, you can definitely smell like the chili and the lime in it. So this is a really great one to have. I've used it in my um, ground meat, in my chicken, all kinds of things. So this has been a favorite. Go check it out. Mrs. Dash, seriously, I could just have a whole cupboard full of those and be a happy girl. Next are my containers, which I only have my red and my green because I've been eating so much red and green, and these are the ones that I use the most to measure out with. I keep my yellow container in my oats, which that's another favorite, oats. Uh, so my containers this month for the 21 Day Fix Extreme or the 21 Day Fix. I love these. I've been really trying to make sure that I'm keeping my measurements on point and my portions under control. <laughs> so that I can get the most success. So that has been something I've been really trying to do and key into um, because seriously, summer is around the corner and it's insane. So keeping my portions under control with my containers, these usually just stay um, like on top of my microwave so that I can measure out my veggies and measure out my, uh, my protein. So those are my favorite. Um, oh. This. Like, if you follow me on Instagram, you know how much I love my coconut oil. So, I love this container of it, seriously. Some of them are such a pain in a jar to get into. I really enjoy the fact that it's a square container. It's like a Tupperware container, so you can use it after. Hello. Um, and I just have really liked this brand. It does have a little more... Um, because it is pure and unrefined and cold pressed, it has more of a coconut flavor to it, but I really don't even mind that. I now prefer it. At first, when I started with coconut oil, it was kind of weird to get used to when cooking your eggs and stuff, but now it's like, kind of crave it. And one of the biggest things I use this for is, I guess next, my coffee. So, are you ready for this awesomeness? Ah! You can tell I'm a mom of a four-year-old boy. <laughs> mm. 
So how cool is this cup? My dad got these cups for Cooper and I. His, mine has green sparkles on it. Hello. And Cooper's has a whole bunch of pictures of the Ninja Turtles on them. We share, but I kind of claim this cup because of, you know, sparkles. And uh, my coffee. So obviously that will forever be a favorite of mine. If it's not, there's something wrong with me. Please come check on me. <laughs> But I like to take a teaspoon of my coconut oil and mix in there and then also add my stevia drops. And I have been off my creamer for a while now, since I started the 21 Day Fix Extreme, or maybe a little before that. It's amazing. I want nothing to do with creamer now. Um, yeah, so if that's something you're looking into, like I said before, try kicking it. Try adding coconut oil. You might take a few days to get used to it, but now... I love it and it's amazing and I'm a girl who loved her creamer and her coffee and now I love my coffee with my coconut oil and my stevia drops. So, and in my Ninja Turtle mug, like your day does not get any better than that when you start off drinking coffee out of this. Yeah, just saying, just saying. Thanks daddy. Um, another food favorite, <laughs> almost out of it is this amazing balsamic vinegar. Like, this stuff is like crack in a bottle. I'm just saying. It's amazing. My sister introduced me to this. It is the Napa Valley Naturals Cherry Wood Aged Balsamic Grand Reserve Vinegar, aged up to 18 years. And that is probably why it tastes so good. So I would definitely try getting this. Uh, you can get it at your Real Foods Market. It is just amazing like literally on top of all kinds of amazing things um and another dessert you can make with this that i've seen and i'm gonna try making your strawberries drizzled with a little of this on top <sighs> right so i would try getting this if you're someone who is trying to spice up their eating this is a great thing to dip in and for the 21 day fix it is a freebie so give it a shot so on to makeup, on to makeup, makeup. Okay, so I just have a few things for makeup. I've kind of been doing, well, I really haven't been wearing a lot of makeup this last month. I've been trying to give my skin a break, obviously. Um, and that's one of the glories of working at home. You don't have to get ready. It's kind of a perk. So one of the first things, there goes Cooper. <laughs> So one of the first things I love is, whoa, my Bare Minerals. This is one of their uh, holiday collections. It is the foundation, the original, and it's in medium beige. I know I'm usually someone that's on a budget. This is one of the things that I feel like is worth splurging on because it lasts forever. It's great for sensitive skin like mine. Um, and yeah, it, it lasts for a long time. It's great for your skin. Um, I mean, it's not bad compared to all the other crap we put on our faces, girls. So I really like to use it for, like, the packaging. Um, I really like to use it to set my foundation if I'm going to have a long day. And now that it's getting into the warmer months and I have my, you know, my once my skin's all happy and healthy, uh, I really like to just use that alone. Um, it's really natural looking. You can build it up or you can make it really light and then just a little bronzer and a little blush and you're good to go. I just think it's worth the money. I get it, but I don't know. Take a look at it, see what you like, and I would try it. Try it. Um, the next, this packaging is really seen its day, but speaking of bronzer and now that it's getting warmer, um, my Rimmel Natural Bronzer, and it's in 021 Sunlight. This has been one of my go-tos forever. Um, yeah, I need some more. But I really love the color. It works great for my skin tone. I use it not only as a bronzer to bronze my face and contour with, I also use it as an eyeshadow, which I have on most of the time. It's kind of my go-to. I love that combo because I can just pack this as a shadow and my bronzer and I'm good to go. So that's another favorite. It's like three to five dollars at your drugstore and like I said, I love the color. And the payoff is really great. Speaking of another um, eyeshadow, great um, color payoff. This is 
a eyeshadow and I got this from Sally's and it is in Champagne. These in my local Sally's around here, they're located at the front of the store by the registers. Seriously, like, what? That is insane. 99 cents. Right? So, like, look at that. Can you see it? I hope you can because I can see it. The lighting's really bright today. Um, yeah, like, one swipe. Boom! It is beautiful. It is champagne. Uh, I like to hit it just in the center of my eyelid. And then a lot of times you can um, hit your brow bone with it too. Beautiful. 99 cents. Color payoff amazing. Gorgeous color. I've got to try more of these. And they come with like little attachments. So I think you can kind of almost make your own little palette. Which is pretty neat. So I haven't tried any of the other colors uh, there or their shadows. So I can't say what their payoffs are or the color. How much I like them. But that color, I love. Gorgeous. It would work for anyone. Um, next is a... Let's go into the fitness favorites. Why not? So... <laughs> I had to lift that past my chair. This is one of my fitness favorites for this month. Uh, when doing the 21 day fix and the 21 day fix extreme or really any of your at home workouts, it's awesome to have some dumbbells like this at home. I got these from Walmart. Obviously I don't have the other two and a half pounds on the other side. I have those off. It comes with two, two and a half pounds and is that right? No, four two and a half pounds and four 7.5 pounds. So you can have 20 pounds on each dumbbell. Comes with the bars and the clip. I got them from Walmart. I think when I got them, they were like $15. I'm going to go back and get another set. I think my only complaint with these is like with the 21 day fix or a lot of other workouts, you need a heavy weight and then a light weight to switch out with. I would like to be able to have another bar to put them on. So with my lighter weights, when I do my uh, light weights, you'll see me in my videos and stuff. And I'm just holding the actual plate. Uh, so I would like to get another bar set as well and then to have another set of these at home so my husband and I can lift together. So I think for the price, it's a great deal. They're awesome to have at home um, and be able to have different sets of weights and for the price pretty amazing. Like I said, I would just maybe get two or you would maybe need to purchase um, two more bars. So I like having those. They're great for at home workouts. Um, another fitness favorite is we have had some great weather lately, except for it's like kind of snowing today. Utah, I swear. It was 70 degrees, what, a day ago and now it's snowing spring in Utah. Um, but we've had amazing weather besides today. And so my son and I have been outside a lot. And so one of my favorites is to do some hit cardio at home or in front of my house. And so I've just been doing those hit cardio. And then I've been doing like ladder sprints, uh, down my driveway and to my backyard. And then also trying to incorporate outside so my son can go outside and play because I don't know if you're like us and you're in somewhere that's been cooler this winter. We're getting like really cabin fever. <laughs> so it's nice to go outside and it's nice for him to go out and play and do his thing and mom can get her workout in and be with him. And then it's been fun because he's been wanting to um, work out with me outside and kind of tell me what to do. So it's been a great way to incorporate each other and getting together and working out. So that's something that I would maybe suggest. It's been a favorite this past March and I'm sure it'll only continue to be a favorite as it gets warmer. Uh, yeah, if you have any, um, questions on your HIIT workouts or things to do at home, I would definitely try that. Uh, it's awesome to have the beach body on demand because you can take that outside uh, as long as you have internet connection and anything that can get on the internet like your phone or your laptop or your tablet, you can access on demand and do your workouts outside, which is sweet. And who doesn't want to sweat more, right? Hello. So that's something if Beachbody on demand is something you're curious about, let me know and I can fill you in more. Um, some of you guys are going to be like, did she really just do this? I did. One of my fitness favorites this month is my Victoria's Secret sports bra. So let me tell you why. When I first got this, it was like digging into like my sternum 
but after I wore it a few times, it's awesome. It has amazing support. For me, like, for all the boobies that shrink during our weight loss journey, right? But it holds them up so I feel like my chest isn't completely flat. Um, but it gives me support. And then also, like, so it unzips. And then there's, like, an actual bra. And then you zip it up. And this is something so silly, but I love this. Okay, I love that it's like a real bra and it holds in the back with the razor back. But then, hella little pocket for your phone. Just saying. I like that. I know you shouldn't put your phone next to your chest, but I did. I'm sorry. Forgive me. So, um, oh, another clothing favorite is this cardigan. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you've seen me wear it. I've been wearing a lot with shorts or just my leggings. I love it. It's got pockets. It's long. It's comfortable. It's warm when I need it to be. And the best part is it is it was my Grandma Donna's and so I kind of feel like I'm wrapped with a little bit of her and I love it. So those are my favorites for the munch. The munch? the month of March. <laughs> I just wanted to share them all with you. Um, you probably think I'm crazy and that's totally fine. This is all the things that kind of represent Brittany and I love being able to share it with you guys, um, showing you what works for me, what things um, I love and why and kind of on a budget really most of it. Um, and maybe why to splurge on some things. So if you have any questions at all about any of the products I've shown you, please uh, find me on Facebook and message me or my email should be linked below. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon and talking, um, talking and sharing more about me and my journey as a mom, a wife, um, a woman, a foodie, and on my fitness journey. So it was great to talk to you and we'll see you soon. Bye.